Well, Mr. Apple, nice of you to join us, sir. How are you? <laughs> You've never missed a hit before. We were no, worried. I was, I was literally, I was, you know what I was doing, Kevin? See, we, if you want to know how the sausage is actually made, <laughs> um, <laughs> I work on the other side of the room, and we report uh, for various affiliates yeah. across the country, uh, 680 News, and in between time, I actually do a little bit of research on what the heck it is that I'm actually well, talking thank about. <laughs> yes. So <laughs> I look up and I go, I seem to be late for something. What am I missing? Speaking <laughs> of what I know. Speaking of what am I missing? Yes. yes. I went back yesterday and I reread Donald Trump's entire. Higher address. Wow, you've got some time on your hands. Yeah, because honestly, I was try I was watching what was happening to the Dow. Okay. And I mean, at the open, it went up like mm -hmm. 200 points, 300 points, right at the open. So I'm looking and I'm saying, okay, what did I miss? Because the business world knows something. There is nothing in there. There is no. nothing in there. That, why did we get another record close yesterday? You're, you're absolutely right. There wasn't much in the way of uh, new details, uh, was there? Uh, uh, you know, there was, okay, a better tone. That was the big takeaway from the speech, that he was, quote, unquote, presidential. What happened, Kevin, uh, apparently yesterday was the fact that um, the market had a better outlook to the economy, sure, but... There were so many bets that after the market had hit record after record that Trump would somehow go off the rails in that speech to the Congress. So a lot of the big money players were betting that the Dow would open lower. It's called short selling. And when that didn't happen, they had to cover those positions, which meant they had to buy, which accelerated the upward momentum. In fact, it accounted for an estimated three quarters of the Dow's 300 point gain yesterday so again it was a it was a wrong way bet on the market by the big money players that really propelled things to the stratosphere and in fact that was the best single day that we've seen on the Dow for about uh, three or four months so again it wasn't necessarily fundamental it was more on a technical uh, sort of basis why the markets did what they did yesterday having said that there are some positive economic signals coming out of the United States that is true the US central bank might be raising interest rates this month we saw quite a bit of buying on global exchanges yesterday uh, the TSX for example was up by more than 200 points and the London market hit a record so again there are some positive underpinnings but yesterday's activity was a little bit in enhanced by what was going on behind the scenes. Now, speaking of some big numbers, uh, the TD Bank is just in with its quarterly earnings update. Um, it, it has made more money than expected. It's raising its dividend, buying back some shares, so all of the big five Canadian banks have reported results above forecast for the first quarter, and that is good considering the fact that these prices for their stocks have been, well, basically betting on perfection. Consider that uh, the TD has had a 12-month gain on its stock price of 35%, and some of its uh, competitors have actually done better than that. Some are up by more than 50% on a year-over-year -year comparable basis. So the TD is in with good earnings this morning. Uh, should be a positive for its stock. Having said that, we could see some profit-taking. You never know. These markets do uh, sometimes do exactly the opposite of what you think they're going to do. Coming up today, we're going to get an update on the health of the Canadian economy. And this is going to be important considering the fact that yesterday the Bank of Canada was once again hitting the brakes a little bit on economic expectations. Uh, Bank of Canada Governor Stephen Pola saying you've still got to be cautious. You've still got weak pockets of Canada, specifically out west, which is still recovering from the oil market meltdown. Uh, they don't want to let things... Uh, you know, the, the trade numbers haven't been great. They still want to keep the Canadian dollar down, so they lowered or, uh, again, went with a cautious tone. Today we're going to get economic signals for December, which may show more momentum for the Canadian economy in the late stages of 2016. Will that help the Canadian dollar? Will it hurt it? The dollar comes in at a one-month low. And uh, as well today, Snap Inc., the app where you can uh, take your face and make funny faces and share it with your friends, uh, this app is apparently worth $24 billion. The stock of the company went public last night. It was oversubscribed by 10 times the amount of shares available, which shows that, again, uh, sometimes Mr. Market just needs to get some stock because, look, at everything else is at record highs, so it's a new stock listing. The big players come in, they think that it's going to go up, which it probably will do at the opening of trade this morning, but Snap Inc. is the biggest tech stock listing since Facebook. Facebook worked out pretty well. We'll see what uh, is in store uh, for Snap Inc. in its early days. Uh, just quickly, Mike, I'm just looking yes. towards the uh, futures right now. I'm seeing them sort of flat, almost yeah. to lower. 
Uh, do you think the Jeff Sessions uh, scandal <laughs> is having an impact, or is it just maybe time to, to give back a bit? You know what? Uh, again, these markets have hit records 13 out of 14 days, and we keep thinking it's going to pull back. The latest rumor, innuendo, what have you, about Russian ties when the Trump administration has done nothing to slow this market yeah. down. So that's probably not one is going to be the trigger point for a downturn. Nothing goes up in a straight line. Always remember that. Yeah. It'll, come, it'll come back. It'll come back. Yeah. Heck, this time you know last what? year we were down 10% and it ended up higher at the end of the year. Yeah, you know what? It, it's sort of like a, a, an episode of The Bachelor, isn't it? You, you just don't know what's going to happen in the markets. And there's it ends no rhyme or reason. <laughs>